In question 1, we're told the world record for a high dive into deep water is 54 metres. In A, we're to find the loss in gravitational potential energy of a diver of mass 65 kilograms falling through 54 metres. Well, change in gravitational potential energy is mass times gravitational field strength times change in height. Putting in the values, we get 3.4 times 10 to the 4 joules. In B, we're to find the vertical velocity of the diver the instant before they enter the water we can ignore air resistance. Well in this case all the gravitational potential energy will become kinetic energy and kinetic energy is given by mv squared over 2. So rearranging the square root of 2 times the kinetic energy so rearranging the speed is given by the square root of 2 times the kinetic energy over the mass. Again putting in the values we get 33 meters per second. In C, we're to find the time taken for the diver to fall the 54 metres, again ignoring air resistance. Well, for this we can use V equals U plus AT, rearranging for the time. They start from rest, and this gives a time of 3.3 seconds. In D, we're to explain with reference to energy why the velocity of the diver is independent of their mass, if air resistance is insignificant. Well, all of the gravitational potential energy will be transferred into kinetic energy. In D, we're to explain with reference to energy why the velocity of the diver will be independent of mass if the air resistance is insignificant. Well, all of the gravitational potential energy will be transferred into kinetic energy with no loss of energy as heat. So we have the gravitational potential energy, mg delta h, equaling the kinetic energy, mv squared over 2 and as you can see the mass will cancel